What's up guys, I'm Tash and this is Tash Tech TV and today we've got a review for you of the Cron P300S. It has been a while coming, I know. Sorry guys, I know you want to kill me. Uh, 3D printing store because I've had this printer for I think just almost a year now, maybe even longer. I'm not even sure when I got it. But it has been a great printer to have and especially in the booming market of, of large scale 3D printers because I've got this one and I've got a couple other big 3D printers that I've, that I've been testing in and reviewing. Uh, I think you guys may have seen, I think last week or two weeks ago, I did the unboxing of the Guider 2 phenomenal printer as well. Um, I'm really excited to, to have a look at all these large scale printers coming out of the industry right now. And they're affordable as well. I mean, they're super affordable. This one, I've had a ball with. Um, I've had a couple prints and I've had a few issues here and there. Long story short, if you wanna get a printer that's large scale, that's good value for money, that you can uh, that, that you can tinker with, you can upgrade with mods. This is very open source. If you look at it, it's got your V rollers. Um, it's got rollers, bearings, 702 bearings. Uh, it looks, <laughs> I'm not gonna give away too much, but I'm, I don't know if they've launched already, but there is a dual extruder system as well that they're working on. Um, so it's basically an i3 style with the X and the Z and the Y axis. We've got a filament, especially with large scale printers, you want a filament sensor as well so that you know when you run out of filament. I've actually killed this one and seen what happens and it pauses, it goes home and then it tells you to put, to put in the filaments, to put new filament and you put new filament in and then you carry on, it's amazing. All the electronics are on the, on the side here. We've got a, a normal power supply in there and an MKS board. Uh, normal stepper drivers, we've got stepper motors, so we've got two on e either side, we've got pillow block bearings on the top as well, which I like, because I think you really need pillow block be bearings, just so that you don't get any wiggle at the top, okay? Um, you, we've got a full heated bed and drag chains all around, I love the drag chains, it is a bit of a schlep though, <laughs> but uh, you know, you need drag chains, and why I say it's a schlep is that if you, if you have an issue where, like for instance, I had a failed print on here where the print came off the bed because I didn't slice it properly, nothing to do with the printer, then it, it really stuffed up this whole, this whole end here, and what happened was uh, some of the cables, you know, broke off and, or, or split apart, and I had to <laughs> run some new cables and things like that. All in all, you're gonna have these issues with any printer uh, of this size or, or this type of printer, um, any printer regardless if you have to ask me. But all in all, I mean, it has been a great printer. I don't wanna take up too much of your time with this video. We printed a couple of things. I tried to print as much as I could without support. So let me just show you a couple of things I printed here. Because of the size of this printer, I finally got around to printing my entire Iron Man mask. I just haven't gotten around to painting Forsaken thing. I printed the rocket. I actually printed the base. I'm not too sure where it is. I printed quite a bit, but this is all I can find for some reason. I moved recently. You know, I threw a lot of stuff away. Or I gave it away to friends who came into my studio and were like, What the hell? We need that. Uh, yeah, I mean... If you look at the quality of this, it's great. Yeah, this one's got a lot of stringy bits, but again, I didn't use any support. I was being stupid. I just wanted to push it as far as I couldn't see. Oh, you guys would remember as well, we did that crazy upside down 3D print of the uh, the Triforce tri uh, Pyramid, the Fractal Pyramid. You guys remember that? Yeah, I, mean, I know you do. I know you remember this. This thing was killer. Uh, check the link in the in the comments below. Ooh. This thing is so big, it doesn't even fit on my table. <laughs> I'm gonna have to get a bigger table. If anyone's interested in sponsoring me one, that'd be great. I'm just gonna balance it like that for now. All right, um, so pros. We've got a filament sensor. We've got a big bed. It's equally heated when I, when I checked on the thermal imaging. Very good. Uh, we've got a, a probe very good probe it's a they call it a a semi bed probe because you have to still set your offset but i hadn't have to set that offset when i tried it again now i obviously reassemble this entire front end and i don't have to set that on the sd card they give you um there's the the simplify profile in there you can buy it with or it, it does come with simplify if you buy it so that's great because i freaking love simplify Although there are a lot of uh, um, slices out there that are really good, 
Nowadays, uh, I use uh, Meta Control. Um, anyway, that, that's a video for another <laughs> a story for another video. Uh, so pros, filament sensor, big large bed, bed probe, very good bed probe. Uh, easy enough to understand electronics wise. Um, yeah, it just looks sleek and clean and then you can also have, and then another pro, you will get the option to add on a dual extruder and the, and the fifth pro, Simplify 3D, it comes with Simplify 3D. So you can use Simplify 3D with all your printers. Doesn't matter if you just get it with this one. And the price point, great price for this size of printer. The cons. Personally, I'm not a big fan of this electronics box on the side. I don't like metal since, since basically I've been shocked by a couple of these Chinese printers that come with metal enclosures. There's earthing issues with them. The power supplies themselves. I'm pretty sure 3D printing store are getting their power supplies from a reputable uh, um, supplier, but you never know. And I, I hate, uh, what happens if uh, my previous house in my workshop had an earth issue, I'm sure it has a, had an earth issue. And one of another printer that I had, a Chinese printer, uh, ended up shocking me a couple of times. Every time I was afraid to plug in my, 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 my USB cable or just to touch the thing because it would just shock me all the time. So I ended, up, I ended up chucking it and I'm pretty sure it was the printer that was the problem because it didn't do it on any other printer. Um, this one, okay, so it's the styling of the electronics box. The rest of it I love. Um, I like the, the aluminium frame, it's, it's, it's just one of those things that they've, they've taken a lot of care in because you can get normal T-slot uh, 8020 aluminium profile but they've used the B-slot one because of the V-rollers and you can see the V-slot in this. Uh, their support is phenomenal, Dietrich, uh, Josh um, and Paul, top-notch support guys. Um, so if you if you are in, intending on getting 3D printers in South Africa, look at uh, a 3D printing store. Their support is great, and you know there's there's a bunch more others, but this this video is about them, uh, about the, cr the Cron, and specifically the support I get from 3D printing store regarding the Cron and the, the stuff I buy from them. So you know check them out. They're great, and more cons. Okay, the other con is. Um, for instance, I would like to see sort of some sort of mm, pie integration, some kind of, or not pie, like pecan pie, uh, some kind of raspberry pie integration. I think we need to get to that step where, where we can have that also, or just a USB. Uh, I'd like a pie integration so that we can have it on our wireless and we can control it from there. I would also like uh, maybe a third party. Look, I'm not saying that the printer should come with all of these things, but I think you should add it on as extras. I think everyone needs to do this. So offer a Pi, Pi integration and offer camera integration for your Pi. So you can buy the Pi and the camera or just the Pi if you want. The Raspberry Pi with OctoPrint. And because I would, the problem was when I had that failure, um, this printer is quite large. So you tend to uh, leave it running somewhere and then forget about it because it takes, I mean, that print was taking me 69 hours, 68 hours or so. So I, I left it on work on, I left my office at Friday afternoon and I started it Friday morning, it was going. And then I come in Monday and the thing is just F'd in the A, it's, it's all. And again, it's because, <laughs> you know, I wasn't watching it, my fault, but I would have liked to have seen like some kind of uh, uh, camera integration. I can go up, go out and buy the Pi, the Raspberry Pi myself and attach it on there. I know that for sure. Uh, don't, don't comment and tell me, oh, you're being ridiculous. I know, but I just think it's one of those things that for businesses to generate more income out of these printers that they should be doing. Um, especially because Paul and Dietrich and, and Josh and these guys, they design these printers from scratch. It's not something that's designed in China and shipped to Singapore and sold from the US. It's proudly South African and it gives them the opportunity to bypass all the all the, the the business bureaucratic shit and focus on what people need, like what Lulzbot does. Um, you know what I mean? So uh, it's, it's just a suggestion. Another suggestion for me would be, you know, how about um, putting an enclosure on it? I don't have any issues. I print mainly in PLA, but if I do want to print ABS, I tried printing PETG on here, and I just can't. I I just. PETG is something I just can't wrap my, my head around. I've tried numerous profiles. I've tried tweaking it till my fucking fall off. And 
I just can't do it. Um, they, they didn't fall off though. My, they, they're still there. If you want to see, comment below and I'll show them in a DM. Anyway, um, yeah, I'd like an enclosure for it just because it is kind of noisy because it's such a big printer. I'm not expecting it to be super quiet. I know it's going to be noisy, but an enclosure would be nice. And the third thing, I'm not too sure how they would go about this, but I know that um, God, that, that Flash Forge have implemented um, continuous printing, fail safe, uh, power fail safe continuous printing on their printers as well as Prusa i3 MK2S now. Uh, no, the MK3, sorry. The MK3 has, so if you had to pull, or if there's a power loss, there's enough power in the capacitors of the power supply to feed through the rest of the board and it, re and it reacts to the power cut and then it, it, uh, it homes the x-axis and records the slice level that it's on. And when you, when you reconnect your power, it goes back and it carries on printing. Uh, if you can do that, I know it's a, it's a real push, but you can, it's similar firmware to do with your filament sensor. You just need to uh, uh, find out how they do it, open source. I haven't even looked at the code. I'm pretty sure that Joseph Prusa and them will, will, uh, will publish that because it's open source, they should. Uh, although they're using Rambo boards, so I'm not too sure. Those Rambo boards are pretty, pretty pricey. But uh, it would be nice to see that, or even if you just had to incorporate some kind of battery pack that you like bolt to the back and then it, it you know, it reacts and it beeps when there's a pop. We live in South Africa. SCOM is useless, guys. We need backups, uh, back, backup systems on our, on our 3D printers, especially big ones when we're printing, when we're printing that, um, that long. Uh, other than that, it's a great printer and I, I wish they would let me keep it just between you and me. But I wish everyone would let me keep all their printers. So um, yeah, have a look at some of the footage of the, uh, of the prints and uh, enjoy. I'm so glad you guys tuned in and uh, leave a comment below if you want to see a printer next uh, or if you want me to see a review something else, uh, a review of something else, let me know. And uh, hit me up on Patreon. I'd really appreciate it if you guys would just click a donate there so that I could keep bringing you these, guys, uh, these videos and make them better as well. <laughs> uh, and thanks for watching, guys. Uh, subscribe. Mm -hmm.